Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today will be a very short Q&A video. I want to talk about cement today. I have been receiving a lot of questions asking whether what type of cement that I'm using, what kind of cement is it, why my cement is not hard, and then why my cement get cracked. So today I'm here to answer all your questions. So if you're ready, then let's get straight to the point. Okay, for the very first question, what kind of cement that I'm using? Currently, I'm using only the white cement because in my country, as I know, there's only two types of cement, either white or grey colour. So currently, I'm using the white colour one. Okay, what brand of cement that I'm using? <laughs> this is the cement that I bought it from the hardware store. This is exactly like this. This is the white cement. So there is no brand stated on it. Nothing. So I'm not sure what brand is it. The only thing I know is this is the white cement. So I just walk into this hardware shop and tell them that uh, I want to buy a cement. So normally they will ask you that uh, you want white color or gray color. So I will just tell them the white one. Okay, in Malaysia, our hardware store, they will sell like 1kg, 2kg, or if you want in the very big packaging, they will sell it for mostly for renovation use. I think that one could be up to 20kg, 30kg, something like that. But you still can get a very small packaging from maybe Shopee or Lazada for 500 grams. So for this 2kg, I bought it for 4 ringgit 50 cents. So equal to about $1 USD. Catching, I can do it for maybe 6 or 7 projects. 6 or 7 projects for this. This is the stationary holder. I think if you want to do it uh, for this coaster, maybe you can do it a lot more than 10 or maybe 15 <laughs> because this one requires very little cement only. What is the difference between white cement and grey cement? White cement can be used for architectural beauty, interior and exterior decor and as well as flooring. While the grey cement can only use for construction. But I saw there are some people using grey cement for the pot project. So that one can be used also. But myself personally I never used the grey cement before. Because white white cement is more easier for this kind of crafting terrazzo use and uh tray because you at the end you need to add some color pigmentation. So I that's why I chose the white cement. It's more easier for me to add on the color. Grey cement will be always cheaper than the white cement. Okay, the next question is what kind of water that I'm using and how much? Okay, currently I'm just using the tap water. So, and there is no additional other water. There is some comment. They ask me whether I got add on some additional liquid or not. No, no, nothing. Just pure water. Tap water, drinking water, whatever pure water you can use it as a mixture. How much water do I mix? I actually don't have the ratio. Because of some cement, they actually absorb more water. So, for me personally, I do not really calculate. It. I will try to keep on adding the water until the mixture I want. So, relation. Mm, <laughs> okay, the next one is mostly people will ask me this question: Why my cement easily get break? So I believe there is a lot of root cause for this, but. One of the main reasons is because you do not mix the mixture well enough. Because sometimes you only stir the mixture, you stir, stir, but you forgot the edge. At the edge of your mixing bowl, maybe there is still a lot of cement that you forgot to mix. You have to mix the center one and the edge of the mixing bowl, you need to mix them well together. And the second one could be a lumpy cement because sometimes you never notice that your cement may be 
is already get wet or moisture. So inside the cement, it could be a little bit of lumpy. So that one, I'm not recommend use to use it. It could it could cause the crack also. Okay, next thing is obviously your cement is not get dry enough. The average time for this kind of cement to dry is will take up to 24 hours. But because sometimes, you know, like, we are all so very curious, sometimes we will unmold it within a few hours. So that's why your cement will crack easily. Maybe you will see the cement outside is already dry, but actually inside is still very wet. Your cement should be dry in a room temperature for 24 hours at least. But for those countries with winter, there is a winter season or very cold. So maybe it might take slightly longer, maybe up to 48 hours. So you need to be very careful on this. And sometimes people will think that drying their cement under the hot sun will be a very good idea. The drying process could be very fast. It's actually very, very wrong. So the first time I am still new into this cement, so because I want to fasten the, the process, speed up the process, so I put the cement under the direct hot sun. So immediately after 15 or 30 minutes, all my cement become cracked. So that's why I know this way cannot, totally cannot, you cannot put under a very hot side or direct sunlight. Sometimes your mold could be one of the reasons of why your cement crack. So I got tried before using a very narrow silicone mold. There is an alphabet A to Z and the alphabet cement mold is actually quite quite small I would say. So all the alphabet is very very narrow. So the next day I try to unmold it, all the alphabet will crack. For example like I unmold A, so the alphabet B will crack. Either A or B or both will be cracked. So I do not recommend using a very narrow silicone mold. And the last reason why your semen easily breaks is because there is too many bubbles inside. Because after every project, you should really tap your semen so that you tap out all the bubbles. Because when the bubbles trap inside the semen, so it will create an air inside. When the semen is already hard, because there is an air inside, create holes. So that's why your semen is easily break and crack. Okay, next question. Where do I buy my mold and what kind of mold that I'm using? Okay, currently I'm just using the silicone mold for the resin type. I I feel that this kind of silicone mold is much more easier to use. It's better than the baking mold. Where do I got my supply? I got it from either Shopee, Lazada or Taobao. I order a bag, then I will go for Taobao because it's very very cheap. But if let's say I just want to order one or two pieces of mold, so I will opt for Shopee or Lazada. How do I take care of my mold? So every time after I use it, so immediately I will wash it with some soapy water. Normally you can use like a shower gel or some kind of dish wash and also preferable warm water. And then next question is uh, what type of sealant that I'm using? Currently I'm only use the lacquer. So this lacquer I got it from the Mr. DIY Malaysia which only cost me few ringgits. So it's a glossy type. So it's a very easy to use just spray. Previously, I tried to use the gloss and also the matte type. The matte sealant I'm using is the Mr. Hobby, the matte finish one. The glossy one is a lot better because the matte color one, I feel that the color cannot stand, stand out. So, glossy one will be better for me personally. Okay, the final question will be, do you sell your masterpiece online? No, currently I do not sell 
all my craft online but I'm planning to maybe in the future because currently I'm still very busy doing my full-time job yeah of course I have my full-time job <laughs> youtuber is just a top time okay and a lot of things for me to arrange and to focus on so but I will try to spend my time once I have my own online shop maybe Etsy in the future so I will let you guys know okay guys that's all for the Q&A video today so I hope that you guys found this video useful if you like my video please press like and the subscribe button so that you won't miss any notification from my future video so that's all for now if you have any extra question you want to ask me please do leave me a comment in the comment section below so until i see you guys again next round so bye